All right, in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to install a TX6010-01-1 smoke detector on a Conquer 4. All right, and this is the smoke detector right here. This is a very, very easy process. All right, um, so the first thing you do is you take it out of the box, and right here you open this compartment up. That's for the batteries. And you put this little black thing. You, you can actually cut that stupid black thing out of there if you want to. But right in the bottom, it'll tell you positive and negative. And these both go the same way. Both positives. So let's see if I can get this in here. Both positives go together. And then you put this cover back on. Now, this uh, gives a lot of people a hard time. See this arrow? And, and then there's a little notch right here. That's how this goes on. You line up that notch, that notch, with that arrow. And it'll go right on pretty slick. I didn't this see. Um, so if it's up on the ceiling, that's... Clockwise. Clockwise puts it on. Okay. So now, let's program it. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So my installer code is uh, 4321. So let's go 84321. Enter the command 00. System programming. Say yes. And then use your scroll keys until you get the sensor. Sensor. Yes. Learn sensors, yes. Partition one, yes. Sensor group, um, for this it's the smoke detectors at the 26. Yes. Trip, nope, I want to go to sensor nine because this is wireless. Your hard wire zones are one through eight and your first wireless zone, which this is wireless, is nine. So I got it on there. Let me just see if I can set that back there. And then what you do is you just take it off the base. Take it off the base. <laughs> took, took a second. Now, I took it off the base. And now, again, you line it up. I already lined it up. With that arrow and the notch. And then clockwise. All right. So that's programmed in there. So now... Let's go uh, learn sensors. Let's say you want to put some of uh, the custom English in there. So let's go sensor text. For one, no. Let's go to nine. All right. So in the book, um, I don't know what, hang on. I'll tell you what page it is. Page 166. It'll give you a list of uh, words you can put in here. So, um, the first word is going to be 084 for, I'll say this is the hallway smoke detector. Or hall, it, doesn't, it doesn't have smoke detector in the vocabulary. I don't know why. So, anyways, you hit 084, pound, goes to the next item, which is going to be fire, which is 071. And then you hit the pound, and that's it. Hallway fire. So, let's get completely out. Uh, let's see, exit one ready. Now, to test it, all right, say that your system is um, already programmed into a central station. Um, to avoid having to call them, which I would anyways, but if you don't want to call them and tell them that you put this in, um, all you have to do is this little button right here, okay, you just press and hold it, and then the keypad will tell you uh, smoke detector 9 okay or something like that let me just hold it now let it go okay it says hallway fire okay now if you actually wanted to um, send a fire alarm test through to your central station what you do is you go here 
and you go disarm, punch, punch in your code. All right, and then let's just make sure that the system is okay. System is okay. So now, say that you actually want to send it through. What you do is you hold this, and when the keypad says um, hallway fire, okay, keep on holding it, and that'll switch to alarm. So watch. Let me just see if I can get that up there a little bit further. So you press and hold. Now to an active fire alarm being tripped. All right. Now to reset it, all you have to do is hit disarm, punch in your code, alarm canceled. Now it's an alarm memory. To clear that out, you see the right up here, that's the alarm memory. You just hit uh, star. You'll say hallway fire alarm memory. Just let it go, and it'll automatically clear out the memory. So you don't have to see that flashing star all the time. That flashing star is for everything. It's, it's just trouble on the system. When that flashing star is there, it means trouble on the system. So to clear that, just hit the star, let it go through everything that it wants to say, and then you're done. And... That's it, guys. That's all there is to programming um, a smoke detector in your Concord 4, and that works the same on the Concord Express. Uh, again, if uh, you found this uh, video helpful, uh, donation to my PayPal account is very appreciative because uh, I actually need a new camera. Thanks, guys and gals.